Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick unboxing here for you. This is not a steel book, if you can believe it, but it is a. Um, I almost said Zabby exclusive, but I do not think it's actually exclusive to Zabby. I just bought it on Zabby, um, and it took you know a hundred weeks to get here, but it's whatever. And I think this was actually released on the eighth. It is currently Monday the twenty second, so it took. I don't know. I can't count three weeks to get here, two weeks. I don't know, but um, I'm, it's it's still cool to get it. Um, I've never seen this film. And I don't know exactly what uh, pushed me to buy this version, but I like the slipcover and the alternate artwork. And I'm, the fact that it's got both Blu-ray and DVD, and I have a region-free player. I don't know. It was about 14 pounds or so, so the, it was about 21, I suppose. 21 dollars when I bought with shipping and stuff, so. I don't know. I'm going to open this up quick so we can see the special features and shit. I heard this is good. Is this the one that's based off of, like, Stephen King? No, this is George Romero. There's one, like, monkey movie that's Stephen King-based or something that I'm... Plus, I'm totally goddamn off base there, which is very possible, so... There's the alternate art. I think this is actually the original poster art, or is this? Or maybe they're both. Monkey shines, pyramid of fear... Oh, I didn't read the, the top here. It says, Once there was a man whose prison was a chair. The man had a monkey that made a strange pair. The monkey ruled the man, it climbed inside his head, and now as fate would have it, one of them is dead. That was very ominous. And kind of creepy, actually. Look at that. It's not just creepy as shit. Ah! Okay. Um, so it's by George A. Romero. I honestly did not know that. Huh. And it's based on a book. Based on the novel Monkey Shines by Michael Stewart. Cool. So I guess I was sort of right. It was, it was based off literature. But not Stephen King. So let's take a look at... Let's read this because it's more clear. Um, should I read this? Or should I just... I don't know. You guys can just pause it and look at it, I guess. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll just read the description. Um, wait. Well, whatever. Uh, Alan Mann, Jason Beige, or Beige, is a bitter, angry, and vengeful man ever since an accident left him paralyzed with a neck down. He's fed up with himself and everyone around him. All that changes when he's given Ella, a monkey trained to meet his every need. But when Ella begins anticipating Alan's thoughts, strange and deadly things start happening. And as she stalks in and wreaks havoc on Alan's fair-weather girlfriend, Janine Turner, incompetent doctor and meddling mother... Wait. Oh, well, that, that, that's a list of people. Uh, Alan realizes he must stop the cunning maniacal creature before she fully takes over his mind. And then all of these people are in it as well. And here are the special features. The IDP presentation of the film. So it's not a 4K scan. It's just regular Blu-ray. Hmm. I wonder if... Hmm. I thought this is the first movie I've bought in a while that did not have any sort of 2K or 4K scan. Just a regular old Blu-ray scan. Or a 1080p scan, of course. Or HD scan. Whatever I'm trying to say. Um, I've heard that the previous release, in America anyway, um... The scan was just so-so, so I wonder if it's the exact, it's the same source. It wouldn't surprise me, so that would make this kind of a shitty buy, actually. I could have bought um, the blue, uh, the uh, US Blu-ray for much cheaper, I suppose, but whatever. This is a Eureka film. I don't think I owned any of these, so. You can pause and look at the special features. I don't feel like reading those, if you want. 1988, 113 minutes. Color. Spelled color with a U, like weirdos. There's the Blu-ray, and there's the DVD, excuse me, and the um, backwards art there. I'm going to leave that, though, because I have that as the flip cover, so this way I can get both covers. And here is a booklet, oh, I can't even speak, booklet, I almost said booklet. This is actually thicker than, like, the last couple years of Criterion's. There are 35 pages at least here. I made rage. Like I said, I haven't read this, so I don't know if I want to look at hey, this. Look at that shit. Freaky. I feel like monkeys are actually creepy to me because, um... I've read stories about, like, monkeys and chimps and shit, like, ripping the balls off people and eating their fingers and... Like, crazed monkeys that escape from zoos and just start, like, attacking people. And it's just fucked up at how aggressive and cr mean that they can be and just... Oh, my God. But So, yeah, monkeys freak the shit out of me. So, of course, I bought a movie about a crazed monkey, so... Oh, that guy. Oops. Oh, you can't even see this. I'm looking over here. Um, so, yeah. 
Nothing else to say. Like I said, I haven't seen the film. Like I just heard that it's an average film, honestly. And like I said, I read that the transfer was just so-so, and this might actually be the exact same transfer from that previous movie. So I don't know if this is a great purchase or not, but um, it's too late. I already bought it. So I like, slip, I like the slip cover. I like the design and stuff and, you know, more stuff to get from the UK. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll have more to show you later. I have one more to unbox today, so maybe I'll post that later too, but maybe I won't. Who knows? So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.